Un chasseur sachant chasser, c'est chasser sans son chien. Un chasseur sachant chasser, c'est chasser sans son chien. Tongue twisters in French have to be one of the cruelest things I think that exist <laughs> because we're going back and forth between ch and s here, right? Yes, that's the that's the main difficulty in this one. And this is actually a tongue twister that every French person will know and will have experienced in their life. Uh, I remember this from an, when I was a child and we were always trying to say it as fast as we possibly could. And to this day, it's it's challenging even for a Frenchman to pronounce this properly at regular speed and even more so at, at faster speed. Yeah, exactly. It always helps to go through them slowly. It's, it's kind of like building your muscle memory in a slow manner so that your tongue and your, your mouth knows what they're doing and then try and speed them up. But even then, there's no guarantee that you will be able to, uh, to do it correctly. The uh, al alternation of the, the two consonants in here, the sh and the s, is, is the main difficulty. And for some reason, the brain finds it very difficult to go between one or the other. There's also the added uh, element of the similarity of vowel sounds in here. Yep. All the words are very closely related uh, with their vowels as well. Well, especially, and, I think, going back and forth between the bright A ah and the A ah nasal. Yes, that's one thing. Sachant or sans, uh, chassé, they're all so close together with a little bit of a difference. And then there's also the issue of the closed A and the open E that, that, that happens in here between chassé and se chassé, mm -hmm. uh, which, which is also a, a little distinction that, that makes it a little bit more complicated. And the A nasal versus the O nasal. Yes, it's actually a great practice sentence for a lot of these uh, typically French vowels. We have all the nasal vowels in here. The OE nasal at the beginning with un. The A nasal comes a lot, sachant, sans. The O nasal with son. And then the open E nasal in the last word, chien. So let's just translate this a little bit so we know what we're saying. I find that when I do a tongue twister, it helps if I know what I'm talking about. That is very true, although that also is no guarantee that... <laughs> You will say properly. Absolutely. So, un chasseur means a hunter. Mm -hmm. Sachant means who knows or knowing. Chasser, to hunt. C'est chasser. Knows how to hunt. Sans son chien. Without his dog. <laughs> a hunter who knows how to hunt. Knows how to hunt without his dog. And that sounds like in French... Un chasseur sachant chasser, c'est chasser sans son chien. 